Hey, it's Sean Irvin with Professional Painting again. Today we are in our shop and we are working on some cabinet doors. So these doors here, wooden, I don't know, maple, something, birch, not real sure. As you can see, lacquer is beginning to fail. In these places here, and uh, down here as well. So we kind of sanded through it all. Nothing real, real scientific, just until it feels smooth and there's no loose material. Um, we kind of use a brush and get the dust out. You can use compressed air, you can use a vacuum, you can use tack cloth. You can do whatever you want to do. On the first coat, we don't consider it to be that serious. We kind of almost expect a little trash in the first coat, so we don't go crazy with it. As we uh, add coats, we get more and more critical with each coat, making sure that by the time we get to the third and final coat, that it will be smooth and have a luxurious feel as well as be visually appealing. Um, the product that we're using today is called Sherwood Vinyl Primer Surfacer. Uh, it's lacquer based. We're using a Finish Pro 395 PC right around I was shooting for 1600 PSI. I'm a little high. I think I'm going to turn it down just a notch. And um, we're actually just using it as an airless. We're not using the air assist feature. We're really just using it as an airless. We haven't found the air assist to be very fruitful with lacquer because it self levels so effectively. That's really not necessary. Um, our tip is a 308 today. Fine finish, low pressure is what the FFLP stands for. It's a critical part of it, if you ask me. Uh, I do not like Rack 5 tips. I don't even like the blue Rack 10 tips. If it's not a fine finish tip, then I'm not interested at any price for any of my work. I really like the fine finish, low pressure tips, and I think that that's one of the secrets uh, that really helps to produce a really fine finish. Uh, so I'm gonna try to spray this and hold the camera at the same time. Looks like it turned out pretty good. Tiny orange peel texture if you look really, really closely. However, lacquer dries down to only a fraction of the thickness that it is when it's wet. Uh, traditional latex might dry down to maybe half of what it is when it's wet, but a lacquer is more likely to dry down to something like 20% of the thickness um, based on what I have experienced. I've never measured that, but the way that we judge the thickness of the coating is how fine the sandpaper needs to be without showing through the paint. And with lacquer, we have found that 220 will actually show through the paint. So if you're scuffing with 220 and you dig a little deep with it, uh, go to paint it, the paint is so thin that you can still see the striations. Uh, what we use are these 3M fine foam backed pads. That is the in between primer and top coat sanding method that we use and we also in between the second and third coat we use a type of scouring pad that I will look for around here if I can find one uh, here we go this is the scouring pad that we use in between coats this is a very poor example uh, of a good one but it will deburr and help to smooth the surface and give you a more luxurious feel, which in cabinetry is a critical part of it in addition to the visual appeal. Um, other than that, we've got our home-built drying racks. Nothing overly scientific about anything that we do, to be honest. We try to keep things very simple, focus on attention to detail, hard work, and product selection, and just do our best and as you can see this dries down very thin it has a very nice finish and 
we love it. I love working with this product. It dries incredibly fast. I'd say that you can touch it in a matter of 10 minutes or less. You can handle it in about 15, sand it in about 20, maybe 30 minutes, and it sands to a fine powder. It's just a really, really remarkable product. And when it comes to adhesion, you're just not ever gonna be able to find anything that can supersede it. You might be able to match these types of properties with another shellac based like bin or something like that which is a very good product and there's nothing wrong with it but uh, it's not approved by the kitchen cabinet manufacturers of america which is the governing body that really determines what is um, correct finish for kitchen cabinets they test everything they uh, approve certain systems and this system that we have chosen uh, consists of the Sherwood vinyl primer surfacer and this product here, which is the Sherwood high build catalyzed lacquer in a low gloss and uh, It just dries real fast. It levels down to kind of a miraculous glass like finish. The feel is similar to polished granite uh, And so it's just a really good product. We like it uh, We hope that the people at Sherwin Williams will see these videos and Hopefully uh, we can work together, we can produce videos, uh, we can provide meaningful feedback on your products that you may not have through the laboratory tests. And, you know, we just really wanna work with high quality uh, providers. We love Purdy brushes and accessories. We love Graco sprayers. And uh, we're committed to doing the best that we can do and, and honoring their work through our work. And rather than passing the buck and blaming everything on your coatings guy or blaming it on the poor sprayer didn't work right take care of your tools and treat them like they're supposed to read the can and you're going to be ahead of the game i can tell you that right now read the can we joke about it but it's really not funny uh if you haven't used a product before read the pds i mean google the pds for the product read about it and learn and it can only take 10 or 15 minutes it makes all the difference in the world and you'll be ahead of the game uh this type of situation here is definitely not for amateurs it takes you would need to work up to the lacquer um, but certainly as a primer it's a great product and if you're a professional looking to step your game up i think that this is the best that you can buy uh, so anyhow we're so thankful that we're able to be in this position and to have any level of success as an entrepreneur and a, uh, you know a young business owner and so uh, we really hope that you'll support us, like the videos, comment on our videos, share the videos, subscribe if you're interested, and uh, I'm going to continue to try to step my game up. I'm going to bring you more and more interesting content that's entertaining uh, and informative, and that's going to be our goal. So if you'll support us, we will really try to lean into this uh, YouTube channel, and we want to build it up, make it a destination for anyone who's interested in learning about painting and we are also interested in learning and so if there's something that i do wrong that i don't know please i would like for you to correct me and uh i I'd always want to learn that's what we're here to do uh and provide good products so please like subscribe share and i'll see you on the next video i hope you have a great weekend